the last couple of games, the times that we've played a game for worst mobile game ever has been an anime, uh, a vertical game. You may have remembered titles such as Ant Legion or Huskow or Trading Legend, which I hated. Also, much like the other games that I played, this game also has no sound when I'm right here. Never mind. There was no sound because I did not have the sound on. So I apologize, game. I was at fault here. Now, I would like to point out that the the pixels for this sprite are really, really brutal. Uh, this looks like something um, that I played most likely in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm pretty sure that EverQuest uh, had better pixels, had better graphics than this currently does. Also, the audio is not a seamless loop. There was definitely a, a hard cut back to the beginning of the loop of the audio. Now, coming in here, we have three, three classes. All right. Uh, we've got the Spell Sword, a warrior that inherits the power of the Ancient Ring. Moving here to the hunter. Okay. Your stereotypical assassin looking really hot girl. Again, fantastic graphics here. Very cutting edge. Uh, we're going to go with Spell Sword because he's got a giant sword. Creating this character. Trading system. Market opens at level 81. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we are initially uh, greeted by this little fairy girl. Fantastic. Um, typical start to a mobile game. Uh, click. And it runs us immediately to the next person. We also have, the, and it, it auto it just auto finishes. Hold on. I don't even have to do anything. Uh, so the person is over top of the text box there. Um, get over with it. It's the it's the best the village has to offer. So if you don't, hold on. Can you can you stop this? You can't stop this. You can't stop the progression of the chat. Hold on. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it just killed the stuff for me. It automatically progresses the storyline, which I'd like to point out, my character is still in front of the text. So I can't even read the beginning of it. It automatic. See? My arm, right in front of it. It automatically takes me to the next place. And then just does it. Why am I here? I'm not, I'm not even touching this game at all. Is this just a visual novel? Do I have to click on this? I think I do. I think this is the second time since this game has started that I've had to interact with it. I didn't. I didn't even click that. Okay. 
Fantastic. Good to know. I don't have to do anything. Thank you, game. And I'm pretty sure that it auto-equipped my gear as well. I apparently kill everything in the general vicinity. Here is a guy that I this just named Hunter. Okay. Wow, is that the thousand year ginseng that you literally just picked up from over there 10 feet away? Cancel. Stop. If I just stop, will it automatically send me to the next spot? How long can I stand in one spot here? Ah, of course, the VIP system. We'll have to check that out, I'm sure. I gotta assume that this is the the start, right? Okay, so this is the beginner's weapon. I need to be able to put on the other weapon that I got. Remove Weapon But we got a different weapon How do you now equip this? Oh, by clicking on gear So you remove this And you don't It doesn't say equip it doesn't tell you, oh, hey, you should do something. Gear. Fantastic. Very, very good. Attire. Oblivion Blade. Ah, it has glamour. Good. Fantastic. All right, let's get back to... All right, so we can click super fast through this or we can just let it go. Now, it doesn't seem... I don't actually know... Again, fantastic that this is autos. But... Where is... This just gives me a red dot. This doesn't up, upload or show me anything. This just gives me... A red dot and when I click on it nothing fantastic settings okay autoplay settings free mode non-target mode okay locked mode no auto cast rage skill we're gonna auto cast rage skill uh, offline autoplay okay so there is offline autoplay interesting uh, let's see. Consumable reminders, basic settings. Um, yeah, I don't really care too much about this stuff. Uh, I find it interesting that there's just literally a contact a GM. Which is just. All right. It's interesting. I wonder how often people have to use that. So we're just going to click through this. We've got a mount now. Fantastic. This doesn't seem to make us go any faster. Ah, yes, the rare metal that is right here. That you could have walked over and gotten yourself. Fantastic.
and now we just just lightning everywhere this lady has to be very concerned because of how much lightning just happened but she's not okay we're just gonna click through this so that it goes faster um yes there's something stirring in my chest uh because of all those abs that you have good sir here, take this relic. Your chest will be fine when you perceive it. You look perplex perplexed still. Let me show you the way. I turned into a little fairy girl. The relic has put his... The wizard has put his relic inside of your body. What? Where is the forge is level 44... War Pets is probably a gotcha. Okay. Well, let's go pick some orchid flowers. Let's just burn through this till we get to wherever the gotcha is. Am I even taking damage? Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage here. This guy has no eyes. How are you taking any damage? Okay, sweet. I don't know what I did there. Try the rider. Activate to gain a han gain handsome ride. How much money do you think this costs? Ah, yes. Look at this handsome ride. Ah, this is a valued mount. Also, it does look like mounts increase your power. Again, if I if I knew what was going on story wise, hey, I've got a dude. All right, fantastic. Oh, no wait! I think this is garments. OK, we're going to get some we're going to get some metal, some metal hot pants. I'm excited for these. Let me tell you what. Okay, we got some we got some better pants. Wait, are these actually just called better pants? Hold on. Bag. Here. They don't have a name. They're just beginner pants, but I'm pretty sure that that icon called them better pants. So we're already 28 and we have done literally no manual combat. Those wolves are attacking me while I'm in a quest. Uh, does nothing. I'm not attacking these wolves. As a matter of fact, I don't know that I could, uh, even if I wanted to here. Okay. I just left clicked on them, by the way, and it used my uh, special ability. Did you see somebody with a suspicious bag? Who are you? Uh, who just walks up to somebody? Bro, did you send somebody with a suspicious bag? Like, no. Who are you? Why are you asking me this? Maybe you got a suspicious bag. The land is infested with camps. It has become a game land. Let's check it out. Okay. Good stuff. All right, we're we're checking it out. Okay, we got some colorful armor. And a sharp artifact and a bunch of other stuff that we've just claimed uh because reasons. Yeah, this game is power leveling me, but you got to get to 134 to get married. So, okay, we now have female of uh, a uh, female. We just got an extra person. Uh, more ring rates. You always pretend to be such a victim. I did not expect to see general chat drama in this game or people for that matter all 
All right, 37. So, so far, it hasn't shoved, like, gotcha or anything in our face, right? Uh, I don't know what that is. Offensive skill book case. That's going to give us more for our skills. Um, I guess I would assume that that's how we are going to upgrade. Uh, so we're going to, we got a crit skill book. Fantastic. Purchase now. Go to recharge. Okay. So this is actually a little bit surprising, right? Because it actually like the, the mount, if I wanted to get this mount, right? It's 300 diamonds. This actually has 300 diamonds, like directly for five bucks. So if I wanted to keep my cool Firebird mount, it would cost me $5. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I clicked on the recharge, right? Nah, that's the first recharge on VIP you have to pay to be able to chat in this game i hate this this is the worst the worst thing when you have to pay in order to to chat to other people in your game like come on bro also i now have a giant thing over my head that says titan newbie this guy literally just used his trumpet to say hello world. Good job. So far, nothing that I have fought has brought my health down to any level that I would be even remotely concerned. Okay, so we unlocked Forge. All right, we're gonna be some boosty boys. We're gonna fight some scarecrows because reasons absolutely nothing even remotely damages us i do not know what i am here for realistically short of a couple of things i'm pretty sure that i could just leave this game on overnight while i sleep on my emulator and probably wake up at the end game. As a matter of fact, I may do that actually. But I would like to point out that I cannot stop this portion. No, no, come down here. Click, 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 click. Fight this. So that's the one that I had to fight, but it kept getting, it got stuck on the other two. Very good. Very good. Great. Fantastic game design right there. Also, I'd like to point out that, um, well, if I could, if I could stop, uh, Gail Nee acquired the title top, top one fighter. So congratulations to them. Hooray! Okay, so we're level 50 now already. And we need, we need to learn a new system. Okay. Fantastic. I'm glad I learned whatever that was. Soul can be gained via killing monsters. Uh, you can use souls to upgrade purge level. Purge with higher level brings higher firmness. Ooh, higher firmness. Oh, I can firm. And damage reduction. Okay. Ah, yes, what's up, brother, who has just color-swapped yellow cultivator? 
So I don't know if I have an auto heal ability or or what, because I take a little bit of damage and then all of my health comes back. Ah, forgive the cultivator. Okay. That's a good, great name. Goes with the coloring scheme of red and yellow. Forgive. My favorite color. I wonder if the story makes more sense in the native language. Uh, well, if you could read it, uh, maybe. I'm the cultivator you're looking for. No, I'm just looking for a thief. Oh, okay. Oh, you automatically have to do that. Okay. I apologize, Dragoon. I thought that you were just bad because you used your trumpet to say hello world. I was not aware that uh, that you just had to do that through the quest. That means that there is somebody else, one other person at the moment. Okay, there was red, there was yellow, there's black, and the other cultivator's name is Forgive. Okay, we've got a thyroid monk. This is a lot different than the ring race that we've been fighting so far. Ah, uh, yes, we're done. Okay. Oh, hey, deluxe wedding. Let's go. I hope that one day I can find my true love in this game. Oh, we've got to go to Stormwind. Let's go, baby. I can't imagine that even in the native language that this story makes much more sense because all we're doing is looking for someone. They're suspicious and they've got a bag and that's a giant rubber ducky. Also, we are already level 60. We've been playing this game for 42 minutes now. We are level 60 already. Oh, hold on. We got to go to Welfare Hall. This is where you go if you are too poor to, ta to VIP top off the Welfare Hall. This is where you go because you're not a VIP. You go collect your welfare. Okay, character wise, we need to purge. All right, that increases our, our combat power. Uh, you know what? We're gonna hold on to our boosts. Personal gameplay. Let's just sweep it advanced we'll sweep it does that get rid of our red dot fantastic um attire wise Let's increase this to a hundred. Okay, sweet. Now we can use this. Okay. Now we've got a cooler looking sword that's just upgraded.
No, there's literally a side quest to spend a dollar. Okay. And then we head over here. More things spawn for us. Zeus is playing this game as well now. There's a lot of people picking this game up. This is the next hot. This is the next hot mobile game. So it seems as though there is no. There is no gotcha component to this. There's just the top up. And buying things flat out. I'm really enjoying the fact that I don't even have to be here. Okay, hold on. We've got we've got some stuff now. Okay, here's our daily tasks. Okay. Ah, yes. Our dailies. Recommended autoplay. Daily chain quest. Oh, hold on. Here we go. We unlocked. Wait, what did we just got teleported? sudden upon hitting 70 we got a lot of new stuff on the screen we got a limited event a great event investment let's go uh, we can join a guild now All right, cool. We joined a guild. Let's learn all this stuff. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me check what some of this stuff is. Wish list. Tap to select a wish. Um, this. No, elib no eligible wishes. Okay. So I don't have any wishes. I don't know why this is circling then. Okay. Invest. Consume bonus. Super rebate. Supreme investment. One-time investment foe. One-time investment foe. 100 times benefit. No worry of money on your road of level. Fantastic. Very solid. I understand. This screen does not go back down until you click on something other than the one that you were on. So you pay 2000 diamonds and then as you level, you unlock, you walk, unlock these. Your bound diamonds. Okay. Welfare hall. We got it. Uh, great event. Uh, let's let's go with let's go with uh this one. Oh, we got to recharge for these. Okay. Oh, if we wanted to do if we wanted to do these, uh, we have to recharge. Okay, cool. Um, uh, hey, we get this for free. There we go. Let's get it, boys. We got that for free. Epic exchange. Okay. Okay, limited event. All right, we got all this free stuff. 
Oh, but we could get more free stuff if we recharged. What do you even spend this on, though? Like, I don't understand, like, what it is that you're spending all of these diamonds and stuff on. Okay, so we got to fight this level 70 gangster. Yeah, free today for five dollars. It's cool. We're in here world bossing with a small celebrity. I can't tell how many health bars this thing has uh, because the all server packet uh, is over top of the bar. Probably gives you more stuff to buy once you start buying stuff. Yeah, most likely. Uh, I gotta, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna be friends with skills. Let's, uh, let's boost our weapon. Okay, I think that we're, uh, we're doing fine here. We'll claim some more stuff. Uh, daily task. We've got more daily tasks that we got to do, but we've almost got this gangster down. I know this is riveting. I don't know what any of my skills do. And I don't think it matters. Because I don't think that at any point you really have to manually do anything in this game. Yeah, my skills do damage, yeah. Oh, this is another boss. Oh, this is 120. Uh, okay, this is gonna actually kill me. Uh, I, how do I move? Is this gonna take me to the right one? Or am I gonna go back? It's, it's just auto attacking a level 120. Just, just go up here and fight this one. Oh, auto combat. This is actually dying faster than the level 70. Also, it has multiple HP bars her thing because it's still on like x7 also it keeps telling me that I have upgraded stuff on my screen but I don't understand what it is like I need to see if the world boss numbers go down this time because they already killed one. The only thing we have left to open up is marriage and celestials. And I know I don't really care about celestials. Also, it seems like as long as you're doing level or like adequate content, nothing kills you. Nothing can do enough damage, but when you run into like a 120, then you take some damage. Oh, 
Okay, so I did get loot. But it didn't reduce the amount of times that I can kill this guy. Okay. You have to do daily chain quests 20 times. Uh, that's a lot of times. So you have to kill 80 of these things 20 times. There's no way that this doesn't take you all day. I thought that sometimes dailies in Epic 7 were a little tedious. I played games that were quite tedious when it comes to the amount of stuff that you have to do on a daily basis. But this feels rather ridiculous. Because without my lightning bolt every minute, This takes forever. Oh, I've got to go to Stormwind and make a cool post. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. Or I can just click on these little boots and they just take me there. Got it. Now I will go collect equipment. Okay. That wasn't a cool post. Oh, okay. Uh, where am I even going? Like all the way back to the beginning? Yes, apparently. Oh, I'm trying to find treasures. Oh, I think this weird bear thing that keeps yelling on my back is what's helping me find these treasures. That makes sense. It it's does it does. It's good. Good stuff. This thing just sends to they they just seem to send us off into like random stuff all the time. Yeah, let's go. XP training. Uh, yes, we've got the application form. It's right here. I filled it out. Okay, I'll take it to this guy. And then we'll just fight these dogs. Daily recharge. Okay. Oh, we've got the wishing well now. Invest diamonds. From this wish, you can obtain. Oh, I oh, wait. I can't do this until. Oh, I gotta add friends. Why am I fighting this bandit? Okay. I still don't know why I've got this bear either. And we're back up here. Wait, why do I get the training application again? Are right, we gotta fight these guys again? Oh, 
autoplay offline at 78. Ascend endlessly to challenge the God Tower. Okay, so we unlocked the God Tower. Okay. Next floor. How many floors can we do? I'll be right back, chat. Oh, we're just gonna autoplay. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. As you can see, I'm gonna leave and it's not gonna matter. This game made me a liar because the moment that I left, it required me to click on something. Well, at some point when I left, it required me to click on something. New server top up ranking. Do you want a super bear be the top player? If I purchased 1,560 diamonds, I could be the top player and get this fancy bear. Wait, hold on. Isn't that like real? Isn't that cheap? Ish. Do you permanently get that bear? How much is that? 15. Dude, that's that's less. That's 50 bucks. And there's no number three. That means for this event, they have only sold to two people. Two people have bought top ups. Okay, we're gonna check our bag. Gears. Quick recycle. Ah, okay, it gives us it gives us XP. Okay. Well, I have played this game for over an hour now. Uh we are already at uh level 78. Which uh, is is pretty did seem to go pretty fast. Uh, at first, I was a little concerned because I was like, "Wow, this is going to take forever to level up." But you get so much XP that it doesn't really matter. This is one of those games where it's like, "Oh, I'm level 400," but what does that really matter at the end of the day? You just get faster XP, right? Um, and faster levels. Now, there's a lot to do in this game. Uh, there's offline uh, farming. Um, there's auto farming. You literally don't really have to touch the game much until you do, um, which was, you know, when I walked away. Now, interesting thing here, is that I am stuck on the main story quest. I have to be level 80 in order to progress this. Uh, but with the sheer number of daily quests that I have to complete, that doesn't seem like an unreasonable thing to get done, right? Because I'm literally only on four out of 20 of my daily chain quests. Uh, you have to do monster dungeons, you have to do scenario dungeons, guild quests, world boss, escort caravan, uh, gear boosting, recommended autoplay. Um, you've got a lot of stuff that you have to get, you do in this game. It seems like the treadmill is really rough, but again, you can do a lot of stuff offline or literally just put this in an emulator in the background 
Uh, for the most part, I, don't, I have no idea what's going on in the story. doesn't matter. The game doesn't give you enough time to actually read half of it. Uh, and what you can read is very poorly written. Uh, overall, uh, the game, I, I don't know why I'm even involved in this game. This is some sort of weird idle offline farming thing and it, it always kind of bugs me with games like this because there's no real reason that i'm here i don't even know where my character is going right now oh i think i'm going to defeat some snowland scarecrows uh but if i just put this in an emulator in another window and just clicked autoplay it would do all of this by itself i am the least i'm the least important thing in the equation that is this game other than the handful of times that i've had to click on something that was a new um a new feature that just happened to come up and even then, after I clicked the initial one, it would just auto push me through. Now, there are a ton of things that are swirling all over the place. I keep having a, a thing for this. Oh, stay on long enough and then you can get a wish. I have to stay on for four hours now in order to get a wish. This game makes you want to stay on on the game. There's a lot of just things, stuff, different, um, uh, different uh, currencies. You have your diamonds, your bound diamonds. Uh, there is a lot of different stuff here in order to keep you in the game but at the same time you don't have to do anything at all once you have all of your stuff unlocked i would imagine it is as simple as literally just watching the game play itself the graphics are bad the combat itself looks pretty bad. Um, it doesn't seem to really matter at all unless you go up against something that is exponentially higher than your own level. Um, the monetization seems pretty tame, honestly. Like, I don't like VIP systems. And I'm really not a big fan of trumpets, but it doesn't shove it in your face that much. Uh, now, granted, yeah, all these little things are swirling, right? Um, they don't use a good amount of real estate for their screen. Uh, there's just stuff everywhere, which does bug me a little bit. Um, but it's not like... Oh, if you don't pay us this much money, then you don't get this thing. Like, you can't progress. We've only really had one pop-up that was like, hey, you want to give us a dollar. Now, I don't know how much all of that stuff normally costs, so it does bug me a little bit that I don't know that I'm saving five bazillion percent if I were to buy it from that right there. But this game is pretty terrible. Uh, the simple fact that uh, the top up only has two people, two people on it, and the top person spent maybe $50 just kind of goes to show how few people are probably on this game. Uh, if I go to friends, um, let's see, I can't, I think these are the only people that I have. Oh, these are my, these are both my friends. 
ad friend. Uh, this is the only person that I have available to even add as a friend. A. No. This is it. This is the only person. I have sent them a ton of friend requests just now. Add friend. That's it. Now, I don't know if it's just people that are in this general area that I am in. I've obviously seen a couple of people in the game. There were people chatting earlier. There was drama. But... Here's the other thing. I can't read this chat. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there is not a lot going on 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 this game at all. And I can understand why, because once the the novelty of the auto function wears off, there doesn't really seem to be much else with the game. So after playing this for an hour and a half now, and I use playing this as a very loose term because I was not really doing much. Um, I'm going to give this a very solid autoplay out of 10. And I'm going to go do something better with my time. Uh, if you like this content um, and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I am going to be doing a lot more terrible terrible mobile games so that you don't have to but i hope to see you guys on the next one take it easy homies peace